I am going to bring in my Cricut because I love my Cricut right here. And I'm gonna try and make it so you can see what I cut. You won't be able to see my screen on my computer, which I have right here, but um, you'll be able to see as it cuts because really that's the coolest part. So I've already got my vinyl on here, some green that I had, and I am really quick, I'm gonna take my little spatula tool here and I'm just gonna push it down to my mat. I'm using just the standard grip sticky mat. And I'm going to, you can see right here, maybe you can, that this light is flashing. So that means I can load it. I didn't load in straight, so I'm gonna do it again. So I'm gonna load it so it's gonna pull in that mat for me. And this is all ready to go. I've got my little knob here set to vinyl. And then this light right here is flashing. So I'm gonna click on that and now it is going to cut my vinyl. Now the really cool thing about vinyl, um, if you've never cut vinyl, is it doesn't actually cut all the way through. It only cuts through that top layer, which is the vinyl, um, kind of like a big sticker, but it doesn't cut through the paper. So see this light right here is blinking, so that means it's done. So I can push that and it's gonna kick this sheet out so I can remove it. And now I'm done with my Cricut. So I'm gonna shut this, turn it off, and I'm gonna put it out of the way. So here is my stencil that is all cut out on my Cricut, but you can't really see the design just yet. So we need to do a little bit of weeding. And what weeding is, is just removing that excess vinyl that we don't need. Now on my stencil, I need a pair of scissors because I actually cut out three stencils. So I'm gonna use my scissors here just to kind of separate them a little bit. Okay, so I've got my stencil here and the first thing I need to do is to weed it, which is to remove all of the excess vinyl that I am not going to need. So I'm just going to Pull that off, because I don't need that. And then I'm going to grab this little tool. It kind of looks like a dentist hook. Now I'm gonna grab this little tool here to help me weed my stencil. And then once it's weeded, you'll be able to see what it says. hold the little pieces down that I need. Now, the key with this stencil is basically you are removing all of the places where in our case, you want the etching cream to go. So um, you're creating negative space. And that is what is going to etch. And now I've got some letters in this. So I'm just gonna remove those little center parts. This is my stencil. It says Paul and Katie established 1998 because that is the year I was married. What we are going to put this on is a Martinelli's bottle. This is a glass bottle. Now, of course, you could put this on a regular wine bottle as well, but we are going to use a Martinelli's bottle. Now, the hard part about this project was getting the label off. How you take them off is with a little bit of Goo Gone. So get the label nice and wet and take off as much of the label as you can first. And then all of that paper sticky residue that's left, coat it good with the Goo Gone and then let it sit for five, 10 minutes and then go in with a scrubby. Don't use like anything wool cause you don't want to scratch the glass, but you do want something that can kind of scrub it without scratching it. We need a towel. So here is a hand towel and yes, this is like the ugliest color orange. 
but hey, it was on clearance, and so that's why I have it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna roll up the edges here, and this is just gonna create a uh, cradle our bottle and hold it right where we need to so it won't roll around my counter. So I'm just gonna peel that off. And again, this is something that um, isn't going on the final project either. So I don't have to worry about, you know, it being the perfect size or anything like that. We're just gonna use the transfer tape just to move the vinyl over to our bottle. Now to make sure it sticks, I'm gonna use this little spatula doohickey. That is the technical term, is spatula doohickey. <laughs> and I'm just gonna push that vinyl onto the transfer sheet, just so it is nice and stuck. I'm pull my bottle back over here. And then I can remove this just like, just like a sticker. And it's gonna keep the shape, the hearts, the letters, everything right where I need to be. Now I'm gonna pull it slow just to make sure, because if at any time something doesn't pull up, I can lay it back down and rub it good to make sure that transfer tape picks it up. But it's doing a fine job. So I'm gonna take that off. And here is my stencil. So now I'm gonna lay it on my bottle and I am just gonna eyeball, but I kind of want it centered and straight. And I actually find the bubbles from the cider inside the Martinelli's kind of helps me use as like a leveler as to where to place my stencil. So I'm just gonna lay that down right where I want it and if it doesn't there we go before I push it all the way down I can still move it if I'm careful okay that's where I want it to go so I'm just gonna push it down with my fingers because I I want to create a good seal with that vinyl on the bottle And then I'm gonna just return, remove, rather, make sure that that vinyl is stuck good on the bottle. And then I'm gonna peel off that transfer tape. Carefully again, so I can push down any letters that wanna come up. That and doesn't wanna play nice. Okay, and our stencil is on our bottle. Ta-da! <laughs> Super duper easy. So now I'm gonna go around with my thumb and again, just really push that stencil. Make sure it is in place, it is stuck, because with the etching cream, I don't want any of the etching cream to kind of scoot underneath the vinyl because um, then that will affect our straight lines and everything of how our finished project turns out. What we're gonna do is wipe this on to our bottle here. Now before we put the etch cream on, we wanna make sure that our surface is nice and clean. So I've got some rubbing alcohol and just a lint-free rag. I've got a bubble awfully close to that side of my heart and I don't want it to... Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe this over the top. That's gonna just clean that area from any oily fingerprints or anything like that. So I'm just gonna stir this up. It is, it's thick, so I can put it on and it's gonna stay in place, so I don't have to worry about it um, dripping or anything like that. So I'm gonna put it on, and I put it on really, really thick. I don't want to see 
um, the bottle through my etching cream at all. Now, what we do is we just let it sit. So this sits for about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna pull in my Martinelli's bottle here and we are just in the cleanup process here of uh, taking this off. Now the best thing about Etch All is that it is reusable. So I've still got my little uh, popsicle stick here and I'm just gonna come in and scrape it off and just put it right back into my bottle because I can use this etching cream on my next project. This, I have used this etching cream on so many things. Etching, once you do it, once you do it once, how's that? <laughs> once you do it, you will want to etch everything because it is so easy to do and it looks amazing. You can create custom gifts you don't have to go to those mall, those stores in the mall that do personalizing everything that are like super duper expensive. You can create your own for super cheap. And this works on really any type of glass or mirror. Um, you can't use it on plastic or metal, um, only glass. Okay, so I've got most of that off. Now I'm gonna take it to my sink which is behind me. And I'm just gonna run some water and wash it off. I'm gonna run the water over it and just kind of go over it with my finger just to wash all of that etching cream off. Now, I am going to remove the vinyl so we can see the finished project. Let's remove our vinyl. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. I'm not a Star Wars fan. I don't know why I'm seeing this Star Wars song. Yay! It looks awesome already. And then we're gonna take out the letters. And I'm just gonna use my fingernail. Okay. So now I'm going to take my cloth again and I'm just gonna go over it again one more time just to really make sure that I've got all of the etching cream off of it um, and just so it looks its nicest. And this looks so awesome. I am so super duper excited about this. Here is the bottle. Isn't that cool? It says, Paul and Katie established 1998 because the end of February is our 19th year anniversary. 